Welcome to Celebrities' Heritage. Today, we're diving into the epic Western film Dances with Wolves, released in 1990. In this video, we'll not only explore the development of the characters on screen, but also take a look at the lives and careers of the cast members from when they starred in the film, to where they are now, who has passed away, who is still shining bright, and what their lives are like today. Now, let's get started. Number 15, Lieutenant John Dunbar was portrayed by actor Kevin Costner, born on January 18, 1955, in California. He was 35 years old when he took on this role. The character of John Dunbar is a U.S. Army officer who harbors no ill will toward the Lakota tribe and consistently strives to build a friendly relationship with them. Dunbar's personality is marked by bravery, patience, and a love for animals. He demonstrates determination and a willingness to help those around him, no matter how challenging the situation. Beyond this role, Kevin Costner is also well known for films like The Untouchables, Field of Dreams, and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Currently, at the age of 69, he has seven children and has been married twice. He continues to be active in acting and producing, with a notable recent role as the lead in the series Yellowstone. Number 14. The character Wind in His Hair was portrayed by actor Rodney A. Grant, born on March 9, 1959, in Nebraska. He was 31 years old when he took on this role. Wind in His Hair is a powerful warrior of the Lakota tribe, characterized by his fierce and loyal nature. This character plays a significant role in building the relationship between the Lakota people and the main character, John Dunbar, embodying respect and a strong sense of camaraderie. Beyond this role, Rodney A. Grant is also well known for his performances in films like Geronimo, An American Legend and Ghosts of Mars. Currently, at the age of 65, he continues to make significant contributions to community activities, especially in supporting youth and Native American organizations. Number 13, Smiles A Lot was portrayed by Nathan Lee chasing his horse. Born on April 28, 1976, on the South Dakota Reservation, he was 14 years old when he took on this role. The character Smiles A Lot is a young member of the Lakota tribe, often acting impulsively to prove himself as a brave warrior. He has a tendency to eavesdrop on the tribe's meetings, showing his curiosity and desire to make his mark. Beyond this role, Nathan Lee chasing his horse also stood out in TV films, like The Broken Chain and Bury My Heart at Wounded Key. Currently, at the age of 48, he has faced numerous serious legal issues. In 2023, he was arrested for investigation related to allegations of misconduct and exploiting religious beliefs to influence his followers. These allegations include suspicions of inappropriate behavior and the organization of a group that shows signs of being an extremist religious movement. The case is currently under investigation by police across multiple states in the U.S. What do you think about this actor? If you're curious about his legal case, please comment with the number one. Number 12, the character Black Shawl was portrayed by Tantu Cardinal, born on July 20th, 1950, in Canada. She was 40 years old when she took on this role. Black Shawl is the wife of Kicking Bird from the Lakota tribe. She is depicted as a wise, understanding woman who is willing to adopt and care for other people's children. She often wears her hair in two braids, symbolizing the traditional image of many women in the tribe. Beyond this role, Tantu Cardinal is also well known for her performances in films such as Legends of the Fall and Wind River. She has received numerous awards throughout her career, including being appointed to the Order of Canada in 2009 for her contributions to film and indigenous culture. Currently, at the age of 74, she continues her acting career, 
taking part in various film and television projects, and remains one of the most influential Indigenous actresses in the Canadian film industry. Number 11, Kicking Bird was portrayed by Graham Greene, born on June 22, 1952, on the Six Nations Reserve in Canada. He was 38 years old when he took on this role. Kicking Bird is a wise man highly respected by the Lakota tribe. He always strives to understand and anticipate the intentions of his adversaries before taking action, serving as a crucial advisor to the tribe. His relationship with the main character Lieutenant John Dunbar is built on mutual respect and learning from one another. Beyond this role, Graham Greene is also well known for his performances in films like The Green Mile and Thunderheart. He has received numerous awards, including being appointed to the Order of Canada. Currently at the age of 72, Greene continues his acting career, known for his versatile roles in theater, film, and television. Number 10. The character Ten Bears was portrayed by Floyd Red Crow Westerman, born on August 17, 1936, at the Lake Traverse Reservation in South Dakota. He was 54 years old when he took on this role. Ten Bears is the respected leader of the tribe, known for his deep insight and ability to make crucial decisions to protect the community from danger. He is depicted as wise, thoughtful, and detail-oriented, playing a vital role in the lives of his people. Beyond this role, Floyd Red Crow Westerman was not only prominent in his acting career, but also a musician and political activist, actively involved in advocating for Native American rights. He appeared in several other films like The Doors, 1991, and television series such as The X-Files and Walker, Texas Ranger. He passed away on December 13, 2007, at the age of 71, due to complications from leukemia. Number 9. The character Otter was portrayed by Michael Spears, born on December 28, 1977, in South Dakota. He was only 13 years old when he took on this role. Otter is a young boy from the Lakota tribe, demonstrating a keen awareness and connection to the traditions of his people. His character has a close relationship with the main character, John Dunbar, helping to showcase the culture and lifestyle of the tribe. Beyond this role, Michael Spears is well known for many other roles in films and television series. He portrayed Dog Star in the miniseries Into the West, 2005, produced by Steven Spielberg, earning much praise for his performance. Spears has also appeared in projects like Reservation Dogs, 1883, and 1923. Now, at the age of 46, he continues his acting career, participating in various film projects and engaging in social activities Number 8. The character Stone Calf was portrayed by Jimmy Herman, born on October 25, 1940, at the Cold Lake First Nations Reserve in Canada. He was 49 years old when he took on this role. Stone Calf is an elder in the Lakota tribe, known for his wisdom, honesty, and bravery when interacting with the main character Dunbar. Although he does not know how to use a gun, Stone Calf is a skilled healer who provides a sense of reassurance to the people of his tribe. Beyond this role, Jimmy Herman was also notable for his small role in the film Unforgiven and his appearances in well-known TV shows like North of 60. He also featured in productions such as The X-Files and Crazy Horse. Alongside his acting career, Jimmy Herman was an active social advocate, 
particularly for the rights of indigenous people. He passed away on September 13, 2013, in Edmonton, Alberta, at the age of 72 due heart failure. Number 7. The character Stands With a Fist was portrayed by Mary McDonnell, born on April 28, 1952, in Pennsylvania. She was 37 years old when she took on this role. Stands With a Fist is a woman who was raised by Kicking Bird's family and became a full-fledged member of the Sioux tribe. She is portrayed as sensitive and vulnerable to loss, often immersed in memories of her past. Beyond this role, Mary McDonnell is well known for her portrayal of President Laura Roslin in the series Battlestar Galactica, where she gained global recognition and was even invited to the United Nations to discuss the show. She has also appeared in other notable films like Passion Fish and Independence Day. Currently at the age of 72, she continues her acting career in various television and film projects. Would you like this character in the movie? If so, leave comment number two. If you don't like, leave comment number zero. Number 6. The character Christine was portrayed by Annie Coster, born on April 15, 1984, in California. She was just six years old when she took on this role. Christine in the film is a curious little girl with a vivid imagination and quick reflexes. She has a good relationship with the main character, Willie, and her family, though she sometimes gets so caught up in her games that she doesn't hear when she's being called. Beyond this role, Annie Coster is well known as a documentary film producer, and the founder of Sound Off Films. She has also collaborated with environmental organizations, creating films aimed at raising public awareness about ecological and social issues. Currently, at the age of 40, she continues her career in filmmaking and developing documentary projects. Number five, the character Sergeant Pepper was portrayed by Tom Everett, born on October 21, 1948, in Oregon. He was 42 years old when he took on this role. Sergeant Pepper is a soldier with strong survival skills on the battlefield, often mocking his commanders and unwilling to sacrifice himself needlessly. He has a fairly good relationship with the main character, Lieutenant Dunbar. Beyond this role, Tom Everett is well known for his performances in numerous films and series. He appeared in Air Force One and The Elizabeth Smart Story, and has also been featured in television shows like The West Wing, ER, and Criminal Minds. Currently, at the age of 76, Tom Everett continues his acting career, taking on diverse roles in both television and film. Number 4. The character Major Fambra was portrayed by Maury Shakin, born on July 27th, 1949 in New York. He was around 41 years old when he took on this role. Major Fambro is a commanding officer at Fort Hayes, responsible for assigning duties to soldiers. Under the pressure of war, he begins to show signs of psychological instability, frequently losing control of his emotions, creating tense situations with his subordinates. Beyond this role, Mari Shakin was well known for many other memorable performances. He was most recognized for his role as Detective Nero Wolf in the television series A Nero Wolf Mystery. He also appeared in notable films like My Cousin Vinny, 1992, and The Sweet Hereafter, 1997. He passed away on July 27, 2010, due to complications from heart valve infection, at the age of 61. Number 3, the character Edwards was portrayed by Kirk Baltz, born on September 14, 1959, in New York. He was around 31 years old when he took on this role. Edwards is a U.S. Army corporal known for his ruthless personality and extremely negative attitude. He is a selfish individual, often displaying cruelty not only towards his comrades but also towards animals, willing to kill for personal pleasure. 
His hatred and lack of respect for Dunbar create a confrontational relationship between the two. Beyond this role, Kirk Baltz is well known for his portrayal of Officer Marvin Nash in the film Reservoir Dogs, 1992. Baltz has also appeared in other film and television projects, including NCIS 24 and Natural Born Killers. Currently, at the age of 65, he continues his acting career and teaches acting in Los Angeles and around the world. Number 2. The character Timmons was portrayed by Robert Pastorelli, born on June 21, 1954, in New Jersey. He was 36 years old when he took on this role. Timmons is a rough and simple-minded wagon driver who often engages in silly jokes and lacks good manners. Despite his somewhat gruff personality, he assists the main character, Dunbar, on his journey to Fort Sedgwick. Beyond this role, Robert Pastorelli is best known for his portrayal of Eldon Bernicke in the sitcom Murfern, which ran from 1988 to 1998. Pastorelli also appeared in notable films like Michael and Erasure. In addition to acting, he contributed to various television and film projects before passing away at the age of 49 in 2004 due to a drug-related incident. Number 1. The character Lieutenant Elgin was portrayed by Charles Rocket, born on August 28, 1949, in Maine. He was 41 years old when he took on this role. Lieutenant Elgin is a strict but practical army officer, occasionally displaying a forceful attitude toward his subordinates. He has a tense yet respectful relationship with the main character. Beyond this role, Charles Rocket was known for his diverse career in entertainment particularly for his roles in comedy and film. He was a former cast member of Saturday Night Live, SNL, and appeared in numerous movies, including Dumb and Dumber. His career spanned several decades, marked by a wide range of memorable roles. Sadly, in 2005, he passed away by suicide, leaving his fans and colleagues in mourning. Thank you for joining us on this journey with Celebrities Heritage to explore the epic Western film Dances with Wolves. We hope this video has brought back wonderful memories of this classic movie. If there's another film you'd like to dive into with us, please share your thoughts in the comments below. I don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss any of our exciting upcoming content. See you in the next video.